your girl P back at y'all with another video. Today's video is going to be a story time video. Um, I've seen a lot of people doing a story time video, so I decided to share a story of mine. Okay, this is <laughs> this is gonna be the time where um, the time where I went to jail. <laughs> Yes, your girl P was locked up. They lodged it. They won't let me out. Locked up. They won't let me out. Anyways, but yeah. Um. Okay, let's get started. Let me open my drink because my throat is a little parched. <sighs> but anyways, okay. So, okay. One day, and this was like a couple of years back, um, I was staying with my mama, and um, my mama, that's my everything. My mama's my world. She's everything to me. She passed, but that was everything to me. But anyway, it was my grandmother, my mom, and then my sister stayed right around the corner from us. Um, anyway, one day, um, it was nighttime. My mom and her friends was over. My mom had like a little addiction, you know how that goes and her and her friends was over or whatever and then there's this girl this other lady that was there i guess she had a warrant out for her arrest and the people was looking for her so anyway um i was going to walk to my grandmother's house to get something but i don't know what i was going to get but i was walking to my grandmother's house mind you it is nighttime like i said anyways and i saw the lady who ratted you know how they call people rats like she was a rat she ratted on people i guess to get less time or whatever you know and things like that and nobody liked them or whatever so anyways yeah she was a rat but anyways i don't know how the situation went down i don't know if she told the people that the people i don't know if she told the people that who they looking for is in my mama house or if they or if she told the people that my mama had some stuff in the house or whatever i don't know how that went out all i know is that it all happened so anyways, I go to my grandma's house. I see her. I say hi, what's up, or whatever. I thought she was my mama's friend, quote, quote. But yeah, anyways, you know how that shit works out. So anyways, I walk to my, my grandmother's house. I come back. I'm walking back towards my mama's house or whatever. And I see some people standing outside. I see a couple of white people standing outside or whatever. And the door is open. So I go over there and I'm looking. And I look in the, and I'm like, because you don't, you don't see no police lights or whatever. I don't see no police lights or nothing like that. So I'm like, oh, they probably just some more of my mama friends or whatever. So I go over there, and lo and behold, it's the motherfucking Jump Out Boys. Like, if y'all don't know what Jump Out Boys is, Jump Out Boys are like the um, DEA, like the, the narcs, I guess you call them. Well, they're all narcs, but I guess you call them, like, they, they jump out, you know, at you or whatever. You know how they like, open the door, bam, you know, it didn't happen like that, but yeah. But it didn't have to happen like that because whatever. But anyways, so I went there and I was like, oh, hell no. I know these are not the motherfucking knockout jump out boys. So I was pissed as shit because I know that the lady had went back and told the people something. I don't know what she told them, but they came back to my mama's house. And I knew that my mom was going to jail automatically because it's her house no matter whose stuff it was for, it's her house. It was in her house. She was doing whatever she was doing with her friends. So I knew automatically that she was going to jail. My mom had, like, medical problems and all this other stuff. And I was, like, already mad because I know she was going to be in jail. I know she wasn't going to be able to make it or whatever in there with all her issues and, you know, and stuff like that. But, yeah, I was mad. I was cussing. I was yelling. I was screaming. I was like, oh, fuck, no, I'm going to beat that bitch. I'm going to beat that bitch. And she told on my mama I'm going to beat that hoe. And everything, I was mad. The police was telling me to calm down. The My neighbors were telling me to calm down. I'm like, oh, hell no, I'm fucking mad. So, anyways, I swung. My stupid ass swung on the police. They grabbed me by my arm and threw me on the fucking ground. And that was it. I was in a holding cell. They had one stat. I was in a holding cell and everything. So I was like, oh man. So once they brought me upstairs and they closed that motherfucking um, door, that gate or whatever that slams, I was like, oh shit. Like, this is reality. I'm really fucking locked up. And you locked up for like 24 hours a day, like 23 hours a day or whatever. 
you only get out like one time to take a shower but I didn't have to do all that because I was only in there for like that night and then my sister came and got me like the next day or whatever but I I had to go up I we got to go outside or whatever we had change on chains on our ankles and shit so it was just like uh, upstairs on the roof or whatever and it was like closed in by fence or whatever so it's not like you could have got away anyway but I wasn't even trying to do that because like I said I was only in there for like that night and then like until like the next day evening or whatever my sister came and got me out so yeah um and then when I was in there my mama actually was in there too because they had brought my mama up there but I had left, so I didn't get to stay long. But I told her I loved her and everything. And then she stayed in there for a little bit because, you know, it was a drug charge or whatever. So she stayed in there for a little bit. And then she was transferred to another jail, which was like 15 minutes away from our house or whatever, from where we stayed. So she was in there for like, like a month and a half or something. But she came out looking good and everything. But you know how the relapse goals and stuff like that but anyway yeah i was pissed off when i went to fucking jail i wasn't pissed off that i went to jail i was just pissed off because i thought that was my mama's friend and like she just you know and i was till this day she wanted friendly well not now because i have moved to texas but she wanted to friendly bob and everything and she came by my sister house one day trying to friendly bob and i was just looking at her giving her a mean look like bitch if you don't get away from my sister house like we don't like you over here don't ask for no fucking hugs and nothing like that you you told on my i don't know if you told on my mama but however it went you should have kept your fucking nose out of the business and if the bitch was in my mama house the bitch was in my mama house and you should have just left it at that or whatever you didn't have to go tell the police nothing but she did that but anyways yes i know right long ass story but during that whole week oh yeah the funny part is during that whole week like everybody almost everybody in my family went to jail my sister had went to jail her boyfriend her boyfriend's two daughters had went to jail because they had gotten to a fight prior to what happened with another girl or whatever so they had to go to jail they had to get bailed out my sister and her boyfriend had to get bailed out so during that whole week like no everybody in my family was just in jail and then out of jail so i was like damn <laughs> everybody getting bailed out and going in but yeah so that was crazy yes but i mean i vowed to never to go back to jail again like once those gates close and you know you're in there for 23 hours a day not you gotta get told what they do eat what they eat you gotta do what they say i was like oh no never again will i get locked up you know but that was my mama i ride or die for my mama now that she's gone but i'll ride or die for my mama i'll go to inner earth for my mother and my grandmother who is also deceased they died like a year apart but i will go in for them but anyways that was my story and it was kind of long i was trying to make it fast because i didn't want this video to be super long you know but yeah that was crazy i was like oh no i'm never gonna die and then i was in front of this stupid ass judge judge stansberry like nobody likes him but yeah the only good thing is it that came out of that whole situation was that i was ordered to get my GED. It was mandatory that I get that. If I didn't get that, I was probably going to get locked up until I got it. So I was like, oh, hell no. That's the only good thing that came out of it is that they pushed me to get my GED. The law pushed me to get my GED. Because if it wasn't for the law, I would probably not even have my GED right now or, you know, have a, my certificate and medical office assistant if it wasn't for the law. So kudos to the law for that because if it wasn't for them like i said i would not have none of my education that i have now so yes but yes anyways that was my story time i hope that you guys enjoyed it i know it was kind of long my voice my throat hurt i've been working you guys like the air 
coming in heat and then going into the air. Oh my gosh, my throat is like. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like, subscribe. Um, you guys have a wonderful and blessed day. And I'll talk to you guys in later. Bye.